Now, Roger Mayweather, you obviously had a, 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 a title bout with Roger May- Mayweather that was depicted in yep. your movie. How Absolutely. was dealing with him? With Was it like a circus, like his son, or was it a little more tame? He was a badass. He was fast as lightning, you know, like like the whole family. You know, they all are. The, the Mayweathers can fight. It's a fighting family. And combine that with Vinny Paz not being able to make 140. I, it took me three times to get on the fucking scale and make 140. And finally I made it, and I was just... It was one of those fights, and I've only had five in my life, which is not a lot. You know, I won I won 50 professional fights, 50. Uh-huh. I lost 10. But out of those 10, I didn't lose all, all, all those fights. You know, you know how it goes with boxing. But out of those 10, five, I call them oh God fights, where I just walked to the ring and just said, oh God, please. Please let this motherfucker have a bad night. Please let me live. Because <laughs> I, I, I really ain't feeling this, God. I'm really not supposed to be in this ring right at this moment right now. You know, I had problems making weight, and it was just ruining things. Was it just, um, what was your issue with the weight? Were you in love with food, or was it unrealistic expectations of where you were supposed to be? Unreal expectations. The dude has tried to keep me down um, with, you know, what weight I was making because they had a fighter in every division. You know, they oh, had a star in every brutal. division. So they tried, that's to, brutal. they tried to keep me brutal. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, thank God Kevin Rooney came into my life. Or I really might have died. I might have died. Like, I was dying. Like, I passed out at Fort Mayweather. And it's in the movie a little bit, but they didn't press, they didn't hit on it because, you know, that's a whole other issue. But it's a whole other story. But I'm telling you, after I fought Roger Mayweather, I passed out. I couldn't make. I was so dehydrated. When I hit him, it was like a bad dream. I couldn't couldn't hurt nobody. I, I, I like my punches were so weak. And after the fight, I passed out, and they took me to the hospital. I was laying on the on the table in the hospital in Vegas, two IVs in me, one in each arm, pumping fluids into me, and I just saw myself going up through white clouds. And I said, you know what? Fuck it. I lost a fight. Everyone was there. Everyone was there. Stallone, Schwarzenegger, Hugh Hefner. Like, everyone was there. And I was just so embarrassed. It was the first time I ever got put down. And anyone ever put me on my ass. And I was so embarrassed. And I said, you know what? Like it. I'm gonna go go. This feels it. It felt so good, and I was going through white, vivid white, white clouds. Like just keep going. I was going up and up and up. And the nurse, if if my father wasn't there, see, I'm I'm so grateful and, and thankful. You know, the more I live, I, I they would to, the more I live, and the more they they've been dead. I they are unbelievable. If my father wasn't with me at, at that time, like, my father was looking through everything. He was there when I was training. He was in the corner at the fights. You know, after the fights, he'd always be with me, with me holding my hand when I was getting stitched up. You know, and this time he's in the hospital with me in Las Vegas. I was gone. I I said to myself, fuck it, this feels good. I lost, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't give a shit. And the nurse said to my father, and I heard her, um, she said, Mr. Pazienza, we're losing your son. He's only got one heartbeat every every six to eight seconds. And when she said that, and he grabbed my shirt, and he started shaking me violently, and, you know, just saying, Chip, I don't care, you lost, don't do this. Hmm. And boom, the clouds went away, I came back down. And that's why I, I, I'm, I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> 